Hi, I'm Steve Bellavia. I'm a product manager at Johnny Selected Seeds, and one of the crops that I manage is mini broccoli. So there are two main types of um, mini broccolis we're going to talk about right now. Uh, one type is Gylon cross broccoli, and when you cross Gylon and broccoli, you get the thin, narrow, tender stems from the Gylon, and then you get the relatively big florets and the bulky plant from the broccoli. So when you do that cross, you get a plant that has a relatively good yield and yields over a good long period of time. Um, has good flavor, but not quite as good flavor and not quite as tender as a pure Gylon variety, but it'll yield more over a longer period of time. So here's the main head of Happy Rich uh, ready for harvest. There's a little bit of wiggle room when you harvest it. You can harvest it right at this stage. Um, you also could let it grow a little bit more to where sometimes a couple of flowers might be uh, opening. That's often what they do in Asia, but that's, that's purely personal preference. It'll still be tender and tasty at all these different stages. So to harvest, the easiest thing is just to go below the, um, the main base of the head and just snap it off like that. And there you go. You have a nice main head from the Happy Rich. And then in a few more days, you'll have some more side shoots ready to harvest. And you can see it from the side and the, the front view here. And remember on Happy Rich, the, the stem is really the sweetest, tenderest, tastiest part. So make sure when you cook it, you leave a large portion of the stem intact. And then here's a Happy Rich plant now that is ready for the second harvest. You can see right here where the main head was harvested a few days ago, and now it's putting out these secondary shoots. And these secondary shoots, you can let them grow till they're the stem is around six or eight inches and then harvest them. And you want to harvest them right at the base like this to make bunches. And then after harvesting, the plant, the plant will continue to grow and put out more shoots, just like this one. So this is Melody. This is our um, mini broccoli that's 100% Gylon. And you can see from the plant, um, being a Gylon, it's a relatively small plant. Um, you get a couple um, shoots here that you can harvest and you harvest those and you'll have a few in a few more days. Compared to uh, Gylon cross broccoli crosses, this one will be a little bit more tender, uh, smaller florette, and won't yield over quite as a long period of time. So that's the trade-off. With the pure Gylon, you get better flavor and more tenderness, but not quite the yield. And these are ready to harvest now. Uh, if you harvest these, snapping them like this, and you can do that and make a bunch, and then another three, four, or five days, you'll have another crop to harvest. And generally, I like to let the stems get to be around six to eight inches when I harvest. It's nice if you leave a couple of leaves on here. The leaves are real good to cook also. On your left is Melody, which is 100% Gylon. You can see it's a small plant, um, a couple of florets, not a huge yield at any one time. And the florets have a fairly small um, top of florets, and then relatively thin uh, stem, which is real tender and tasty. And then on your right is Happy Rich, which is the Gylon Broccoli Cross. You can see it's a bigger plant. Um, it has a big main head that it produces first, which you harvest, and then you get multiple side shoots. Um, the stem's a little bit longer, a little bit thicker, and the florets are a little bit bigger than you get with a straight Gylon. But the flavor is still good, but not quite as good as a straight Gylon. So now I'm going to pull up the plants and put them next to each other so you get a better illustration of the difference in size. 